Hey, what's up folks? This is Keith. You're watching Barber's Auto Help. Thank you so much for watching. In today's video, I'm going to be going over the cylinder identification on the Ford 4.6 liter V8. I'll also expand that information just a bit for you and go over the locations of particular spark plugs, coils, and injectors. Now this particular 4.6 liter sits in a 2001 Ford F-150. However, this information will apply to all Ford vehicles equipped with the 4.6 liter, including cars. Okay, and starting on the passenger side, also known as bank one, because it has cylinder number one located on it. Starting from the front, going to the back, you have cylinder number one, two, three, and four. And then on bank two, on the driver's side, you have cylinders number five, six, seven, and eight. And of course, that's starting from the front where the accessory drive is going back to the firewall. Okay, now I'm going to go over the ignition coil, uh, injector, and spark plug locations. And they basically follow the cylinder identification. So each fuel injector you find on the fuel rail on either side of the engine, the position of that fuel injector will correspond with the particular cylinder and the cylinder identification that I just gave you. So the one most forward on the fuel rail here would be cylinder number one injector, and it would follow back and be number two, three, and then further back you would have four on that fuel rail there. And then the same thing with the coils. This would be coil number one, ignition coil number two, ignition coil number three, and ignition coil number four further back there. And of course, the spark plugs are underneath each of those ignition coils. And that same principle is also going to apply to the driver's side as well. Well, folks, I sincerely hope that this information was helpful for you. This is absolutely critical information to have when it comes to diagnosing cylinder-specific misfires or injector codes or whatever you got there. If it was helpful, guys, please give the video a like. Also, guys, please read the entire description down below this video before you apply any of this knowledge. There may be some things I need to clarify. That's where I do that. Also, please read the disclaimer at the very end of it. Have a good one. Thank you.